Hi, this is just a short video I uh, wanted to make. Um, I had an idea about modifying the FPV uh, transmitter setup on a, uh, which this uh, you know in all the videos I've seen is, seems to be a fairly standard setup uh, <coughs> where people have the uh, antenna protruding from the side uh, or in some cases from the back of the uh, FPV um, copter and. Um, of course, what happens is is that's fine as long as this is the side that you can um, that this is the side that you can see or that the receiver can see. But of course, in most flights, you have to fly in one direction and then eventually you have to turn around and fly back. And often during this part of the manoeuvre here, um, the transmitter aerial is on the uh, far side. And because of um, loss of uh, line of sight, and also I would imagine quite a lot of radio frequency interference, um, there's often a, a, a quite a long blind spot there. And, and although you know it does rectify itself, usually when you turn around and it can has, has a, a visual line of sight again with the antenna, usually that rectifies itself. But you know what happens in flights uh, where you have flown to some distance, you know maybe five or six hundred meters away and you actually want to film in this direction for a, a period of time, then, um, of course, you've got no FPV. So what I thought was uh, changing things around a little bit so that the antenna was um, the lowest hanging part of the whole apparatus uh, during flight. So um, what I've done is I've come up with a uh, very simple, um, very simple solution which is simply um, a, a, a fly lead, aerial fly lead, uh, attached onto the transmitter here. In this case I'm using an Immersion 600 transmitter. Um, now I don't have the correct connector here so I'm not going to turn this on and test it today. But as you can see I've just taken the circular uh, uh, spire and antenna onto the other fitting uh, just to give you the, um, the, the you know the, the de demonstration of what it will actually look like. Now I'll just turn the camera off for a minute and I'll film this properly. Now with the um, antenna on a, a fly lead like this um, it, when the copter's flying as you can see the antenna is hanging below it at quite some distance um, below. I'll just uh, put it on the edge of the bench here there's the quad and there's the antenna. It's kind of probably a good 12 inches to 14 inches below um, the transmitter. Now, obviously, you know, I'll have to uh, cable tie or, or zip tie this onto the leg so that it doesn't pull at the uh, transmitter because it will cause extra drag, there's no doubt about that. Um, I'll have to be careful flying close to objects like trees uh, simply because that could quite conceivably get caught and drag the copter down um, but you know for 100 meter altitude 150 meter altitude you know long range stuff it may be you know uh, the, the, by having that um, polarized antenna down um, hanging below you should have 360 degree unimpeded FPV